So starting with the first scene, I'm gonna import the, I'm gonna merge my character. So I have my character here. So you import, leave it as it is. You don't need any takes. So this brings takes with the character. My character now it's in uh, a pose and I'm ready to, the first thing we need to do is define it and this character needs to be able to, to create a control grid after that. So you bring your character in, then you go here on the right side and you, you need to define it. So define skeleton. Let's open up our definition. I need to define the bones. So what I'll go now, if I select the bone, the hips, I'll be able to right click on the hips and assign it. I'll do the same for legs. Yeah, you're going to be able to, so you, it's, it's mirroring. And then you can go to the legs as well and toes. If you have fingers, you can add fingers to your character. It's perfectly fine. You can use, I will use the reference here. Just type the reference. So you can add the spine. You bring in and you go to assign more to the spine. I'll go to into shoulders. I'll select the shoulder. Then the arms left arm, then forearm, and then the hand. Then I'll go to select the neck, and I'll go and select the head. So I'll select the head. So if you have fingers, you can, uh, I obviously we need the fingers, so I'm gonna Need to go through and do the fingers so this needs to be assigned here. Make sure you select the right correct bones for every for your when you assign the bones you need to be careful. So I'm gonna um, select all the bones of the green. And index I'll select the middle finger the ring and finally the pinky one. So once that's done, and if we check our character, so I'll check that and it's mirrored. Now it's ready for, we need to lock, <coughs> we need to lock it. So I'm going to press lock character <coughs> and then select biped. So you can select biped. Now this character has been uh, defined and we and we target to the control rig. So I'm gonna go and select if you find the control rig here, the characters, I'm gonna be able to rename this as my character. So automatically change the name here. You also you can save the the definition what we we use by using our the name of the character that you have. I'll press OK. So we saved it. Now the character is ready for retarget. So you can save this and uh, and we can import.